welcome everyone to the Appium tutorial in this module we'll be looking at uh, configuring Appium with Android alright so this is basically the module number 2 which is download Appium with Android right in the module 1 we just saw the introduction to mobile automation right now uh, these are the objectives over here right for this module that is we will be configuring and installing Appium and run WhatsApp on a real device as well as simulator right to do this uh, I have jotted down the various steps and all which we will be following alright now this is a very very critical thing installation of Appium and configuring it you have to be very systematic and very very careful in doing this right you, you just cannot download Appium and, and cannot just uh, run it on any device like that right you have to install lot of things there there are lot of dependencies so giving you an overview what it all looks like right first let me show you how it looks like how the overall picture is like fine so giving you an overview this is your device hold on this is your say this is your PC fine this is your computer fine in this computer you actually what do you do you connect the phone fine this is your phone maybe an Android phone in my case I'll be using Nexus okay now you want to automate the app inside the phone right in your PC over here you will have Eclipse in which you will be writing the Appium code right this code will actually send commands right this code will send commands on the phone right okay and automation will be done but to do this there are a lot of other things which are required the first thing which is required is that you should be having Android in your phone sorry in your PC Android installed and configured properly in your PC okay your phone should be detected successfully by Android only then Appium will work okay this code is Appium code this, this will only work when your phone is successfully detected by Android right apart from this there are many other installations and all which you have to take care of okay you need to know the difference between API ver API versions what is Android version so there are a lot of things involved in the market or in the installation process fine now one thing guys uh, with Appium okay with Appium you can test iOS as well as Android applications right it is not mandatory to have the code base of Android application in order to test an Android application on the phone or on a simulator okay but it is mandatory to have the code of iOS application in case you want to test any iOS application okay so I can just open any application with Appium on the phone or on a simulator okay I can open WhatsApp or any other application but in iOS I can only open those applications with which I I'm for, for which I have the code right so right now we will be concentrating on Appium connected with Android phone okay later on as we proceed ahead over here uh, I'll be talking about Appium with iOS on a real device or a simulator how you do that okay right so let's move ahead right before moving ahead you need to know the concept of API level and Android version okay every Android phone which you buy from the market if you go to the market to buy an Android phone that has an Android version associated with it okay the suppose uh, like the ver the versions they started from 1.5 then 2.0 came into the market then android version 3.0 4.0 now the current version is 5.x okay these are the versions which everybody knows when you go go to the uh, go to the market and you buy the phone you know that what kind of version of android you are going to buy you can also check it out from the phone that which version of android you are having I will tell you in some time okay how you will be checking it fine now 
corresponding to every version of android there is an api level okay api levels this thing people don't know api level 1 2 3 4 5 6 and right now the api level is 21 okay now what is an api level api level is actually used by the developers okay the android developers every like for example selenium selenium is an api the current version of selenium is 2.45 okay similar to that android also has got an api level api level 1 2 3 4 5 6 12 21 every version of android which is there in the market fine corresponds to certain api level for example uh, say i am just taking a situation or an example over here version 3 may be corresponding to api level 5 okay that means version 3 will support android api levels 5 4 3 2 1 all the api levels will be supported okay now the latest version 5.x is having the api android api level 21 that means it supports from 1 to 21 api levels all right now the problem is that in between there is an api level which comes up which is api level 17 okay appium works on api level 17 and above so if your android phone is having say version 4 okay you don't know which api level is that i'll tell you in some time how to check the api level of your phone okay you don't know what the probably obviously mod android version 3 will not be api 17 i am very sure about that okay so that means if you are having android version 3 you cannot test with appium now this is a major drawback this is a major drawback that is appium will only support android versions 17 and beyond okay api level sorry api levels 17 and beyond okay so uh, to to make your phone okay to make your phone or to upgrade your phone to the latest android version that is possible you can install the latest version of android or you can upgrade your phone that is possible provided your provider from whomsoever you have bought this cell phone he lets you do that for example i am having nexus phone okay nexus is a phone from google google will always give me free updates even if tomorrow android 7 or 8 or 9 comes up i will i can always get it on my phone but there are providers a provider like samsung which has got restrictions on upgrading the version on of androids on your phone okay or other providers right so if you are having version 3 on your phone and if your provider of phone is not letting you upgrade then you cannot test with appium okay the only the only way to the only way left with you is to root your mobile phone okay what do you mean by rooting the mobile phone it means that you format the phone and you install os again and you can install any os then the only dif the only problem is the warranty guarantee it expires if you root your phone all right fine so what about testing the applications on the older versions that is say uh, api level say api level 16 how will you test that right well to test that um it is it is it is actually recommended to use a tool known as selendroid which is little unstable right now okay if you have got api level 17 and beyond you use appium if the api levels are before that you use selendroid okay selendroid will test everything from 1 to 5 and ev everything it will test but it is not a very good tool as good as appium all right so uh, <laughs> right now you know these things are developing they will get stabilized over a period of time okay so i hope you understood the point of api levels and android versions right now let's move ahead and start with the configuration of appium